This instructional video will cover the new female hair standards allowed at USNA. The following topics can be found in the Midshipman Uniform Regulations Manual and the Memorandum for Expanded Female Hair Grooming Standards. This video is intended for the entire brigade to include faculty and staff in order to ensure good order and discipline are being maintained. Hairstyles shall not interfere with headgear, protective masks, or equipment. No hair shall protrude from under the front of headgear or from the opening in the back of the cover except when wearing a bun. Buns shall be kept on the back of the head. Hair bulk as measured from the scalp shall not exceed 2 inches. The bulk of the bun shall not exceed 3 inches from the base of the head. The bun cannot exceed or extend beyond the width of the back of the head. Long hair, including braids, shall be neatly fastened, pinned, or secured to the head. Highlights, hair coloring, wigs, or hair pieces must be of a natural hair color, similar to the base color of the hair and shall not be distracting from a professional appearance in uniform. Multiple braids consists of more than two braids and encompasses the whole head. Each braid shall be of uniform dimension, no more than one quarter inch in diameter or the size of a standard paper clip, and tightly braided to present a professional appearance. One braid or roll can be worn on each side of the head, uniform in dimension and no more than one inch in diameter. Each braid or roll will extend from the front to the back of the head near the lower portion of the hairline to support wearing headgear. A single French braid may be worn starting near the top of the head and braided down the middle to the ends of the hair. The end of the braid must be secured to the head if in dress uniform. When wearing a single ponytail, the initial accessories shall not be visible when facing forward. The end of the braid or ponytail may extend up to 3 inches below the lower edge of the collar in service and working uniforms. In the presence of operational hazards, hair may not fall below the bottom of the collar. Corn rows must have symmetrical fore and aft rows close to the head leaving no hair unbraided. They must be no larger than one quarter inch in width and show no more than one eighth of an inch of scalp between rows. The ends shall not protrude from the head and will end at the nape of the neck and be secured with rubber bands that match the color of the hair. Corn rows can end in a bun if hair length supports. Locks consist of one section of hair that twists from or near the root to the end of the hair and creates a uniform ringlet or cord-like appearance. Locks can be worn in short, medium, and long hair lengths. They must continue to the end of the hair in one direction and should encompass the whole head. Partings must be square or rectangle in shape. When worn loose, locks will be spaced no more than 3 eighths of an inch apart, width will not exceed more than 3 eighths of an inch, and will be tightly interlaced. New growth will not exceed one half inch from the scalp. Locks may be worn in a bun and not a twist or braid. The following hairstyles are not authorized. Pigtails, braids that are widely spaced or protrude from the back of the head, and hairstyles with partially shaved heads. Next, we will cover hair accessories that are allowed to be worn in uniform and PT gear. Hair accessories must be consistent with the hair color. A maximum of two small barrettes may be used to secure the hair to the head. Bun forming accessories may be used if concealed. Additional hairpins, bobby pins, small rubber bands, or small thin fabric elastic bands may be used to hold the hair in place if necessary. The intent is for pinned up hair to be styled in a manner that prevents loose ends from extending upward or outward from the head. For example, when using barrettes or hairpins, hair will not extend loosely from the head. When hair is in a bun, all loose ends must be tucked in and secured. Hair nets shall not be worn unless authorized for a specific type of duty. Hair accessories shall not present a safety or foreign object damage hazard. The following accessories are not authorized. Headbands, scrunchies, comb claws, and butterfly clips. Remember that the list is not all-inclusive, and there may be other accessories that are not allowed in uniform. Talk to your company officer or SEL if you have questions about allowed hair accessories. During physical training, midshipmen are allowed to relax hair standards. Hair is not required to be pinned to the head. Hair restraining devices, if worn, will be navy blue, black, or brown only. This includes elastic headbands worn to keep hair out of the face. Hair may be worn relaxed in blue over khaki as well. In the blue and gold jogging suit, hair must be secured to the head during official military functions. For non-military function wear, hair may be worn down, secured to the head, or secured with elastic bands. Females are authorized to wear their hair below the lower edge of the collar of the blouse, jacket, or coat of the dinner dress uniform being worn. All other hair grooming requirements shall be observed. Lopsided and extremely asymmetrical hairstyles are not authorized. Angled hairstyles will have no more than a one and a half inch difference between the front and back length of hair. Layered hairstyles are authorized, provided layers present a smooth and graduated appearance. 
The unique quality and texture of curled, waved, and straight hair are recognized. No shaved portions of the scalp other than the neckline and no designs or unnatural dyes are authorized. Ponytails are authorized in physical education, midshipman casual, working and service uniforms only. Ponytails in working and service uniforms shall not exceed 3 inches in length past the lower edge of the collar and shall not exceed past the collar in the presence of rotating equipment. Please use the following table when determining which hairstyles are appropriate per the uniform prescribed. Talk to your company officer or SEL if you have any questions about situational hair standards. 